Good morning, Modern Steaders. Feels like another wet, rainy day today. Hope we don't get rained on, boys. What's the matter? Did you eat all your hay? Did you eat all your hay, Zeke? Good morning, Figaro. He's coming to say morning to you, boys. Get in the stand and get some food. Yeah, I'm doing it. You are. So all that is, it just the air suction gets broken. It sounds like a fart. It does. If you open the door, she'll go right out. So what did you boys think about milking? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Did you like it, Callan? Yeah. Yeah. You gonna get up tomorrow morning and milk again? At least I didn't have to yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah, you can spread it this way too. Chickens are confused because I didn't spread the grain while they were out here. Yesterday I started doing the site work in this area with the Kubota to get it flattened out for the new woodshed we're going to be building. And the Kubota was running rough yesterday. I'm pretty sure it was the fuel filter. The fuel filter out, drained it the best I could. Got a lot of the crud out. Then I had to reuse it because I couldn't run to the pot store right away. So I got to the pot store last night, got some diesel fuel. We'll get the new fuel filter installed and hopefully that'll solve the problem. And then we can get the site work done here and get ready for delivery tomorrow. All right, we should have a fuel filter right here. Oh, pigs touched the fence. All right, I got the tools we need right here, out from yesterday, and then I got a grain sack to lie on, so we don't get covered in dirt. Right here is where Kubota keeps their fuel filter. It's the least favorite thing of mine about what they do. We have the mower deck on, we gotta take the mower deck off to get to it. They make an aftermarket fuel filter that you can run a line and run it and put it right here. We have to do that this fall or winter. But for now, we're just gonna swap it out. Shut that off. Go grab a little bowl. All right, get a little dish. Get the new filter ready. And these filters do have a flow, so we need them to go this way. All right. Let's get this swapped over. There's a big piece of crud in there. We don't like that. All right. There, it's starting to fill back up already. Nice. 
Perfect. And a little pinch clamp right here. Take our pinch clamp, set it in place. Ah, nice. Let's get it fueled up before we start working this morning. Hot pink ratchet straps aren't so hot pink anymore. They're a little sun faded. Uh, looks like Figaro got a prize. There we go. Well, I'm hoping that solves the rough idle issue we were having yesterday. Maybe that fuel filter down there is plugged. All right, let's check this fuel filter out. It's got fuel to it. Let's see what happens if we turn it on. It's pumping, it's got air in it. Let's get the air out maybe. just airbound from yesterday still that'd be nice deeper I guess I think it just had air in the system that needed to work out which is a good thing diesels are very finicky with their fuel systems uh, any air in them and it really messes with them I hope that solves the issue. Be nice if we can get this finished up today. I say bigger rocks, but they're not. PTO is stuck on, but they're not bigger rocks. Get some of these rocks picked up, and then we can try to clean this area up. And then we can get that dug out, and we'll bring some gravel over and get a good base going.
Now we should be able to set the grade a little bit nicer here that we can melt the high spot rocks. Now we're going to get this all leveled off and get it ready to build on. All right, I think we got it looking as level as we're going to get it without bringing in some more gravel. So I'm going to go grab some gravel. We'll stop working on the low end and we'll bring it up and taper it off. We don't want to go too high because we're going to do a six by six base again and fill that with gravel. So this is all going to come up. So I want to keep this as low as possible and then we'll raise it up as we're building the building. Standing back looking at it from this direction, that's looking really nice and level. But that back corner is still a little low. So we'll dump some more dirt there and then we'll keep working our way this way gradually and packing it as we go. Looking at it from back here, we're pretty close to that front left corner. Where the maple tree is low and it's a little low on the back left, but not too bad. Getting real, real close, guys.
throw a level on it and we'll see but that's looking pretty darn good right there that back can come up a smidge no it's not the best way to do it just a little four foot level but so this back corner can use some more so let's dump one more bucket here and that'll make this pretty level and this is high so we'll dump one bucket there and we'll drag this all back a little bit more See where 20 feet brings us. Are you building the woodshed? We're going to, yep. Nope, it's going to be a wooden one like the barn. And I want to measure 12 feet. So the woodshed's gonna go from here to there. And then this part, we're gonna make a carport later on for Auntie Gina's car. So I just wanna make sure it's nice and level. It's right. It actually is right on the money level-wise. Cool. It's good? That is good. Believe it or not, that is good right there. Front to back, we are pretty close right there. All right, if we just knock this back pot down, I just put this here for fill so when we're building, we're not falling in a ditch. Yep, it's gonna look really good. You stay, Tana, we'll be back. Okay, we'll be back too. You stay, good boy. What's that? It is, but I didn't want to back into it. Think the pigs are hungry after all those popsicles? been eating too good they don't care about the grain right now. Yeah, after all those popsicles. Yeah. Is it four squirts a gallon? Yep. So what can I jump this one? Yeah, you can dump that one in. What are you doing there, Zeke? What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing, mister? Isn't it funny that little hairdos? Yeah. They got like puffa dudes. I think that's why they named him Best Man. Because of his hair. It's got like a top hat. Mm -hmm. Go. I was wondering if those goats in here. Hello. Hi guys. Hello. You need some hay, huh? They like to make a mess with the hay, don't they? Yeah, spread it all around here. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least if they do get up really hungry, they couldn't have that hay. They won't. I gotta make something else for the feeder. Yeah, you dumped a little bit of hay right there, so something Oh, she can't keep it in her mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's why they don't really like 
really like big apples. Don't let Willow get it. Tana's gonna need a shower. <laughs> Pluto, be nice. Hey! Be nice. A duck pen? How many do you think, Livies? I'm thinking 15. Who's getting them? You can both get them. So two more than yesterday? Yeah. Nice. We got another woodshed project kit that we're getting from JamaicaCottageShops.com. I'll leave a link in the description down below to them. We got one more kit coming from them. We should be getting delivered tomorrow. We're looking forward to that and we can start the build. There'll be a link in the description down below. And last time Dom visited, he gave us a 10% off promo code. So the promo code's down there too. It expires, I believe, December 31st. I know it looks like we're doing a lot of stuff all at once here. But this has all been stuff in the planning ever since we bought the property five, six years ago now. The barn project we knew was going to be a big undertaking. We had to get a road in to wherever we were putting the barn. So we had to get the road in. We got the road in, and we also had to get rid of our firewood storage because that's where we used to store the firewood. So this is like phase two of the barn build, and then we have one more surprise coming on for the barn. So all this stuff looks like it's happening super fast. It's been five years in the planning, and also we have a super short climate here. Last year we had six months of snow on the ground. And then once the snow melts, we get super muddy, so we're not able to build. So our building season, we get like three or four months of good weather to do building projects outside. So we're trying to cram everything in in this short little window. So we've been planning and saving for this for five years and just getting everything set up to do it. And then once it's time to go, it's like, all right, it's cram time. We've got to get the big stuff done before the weather sets in. So we're trying to get the woodshed built and then we'll go back to finishing up some of the inside projects on the barn but there's one more project coming I think you guys will really like it I'm excited for that one too that's all related to the barn build so be looking forward to that that should I don't know I think in two or three weeks that one's gonna be taking shape so that's gonna be really exciting I think the animals are gonna like it thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys remember homesteading it's a journey not a race we've been doing this on this property for five years but this all has been a dream and in the plans and in the making and saving and wishing and planning for over 10 years now so that's why I say it's 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 a journey like when we go on this it takes a while and if you're on the homesteading journey or if it's whether you're building you're planning or dreaming just remember that like hey it's okay start small and work your way up that's where we all started right now you guys are just seeing like the things that we've been working on for five six seven eight years dreaming of starting to take shape for us so thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys if you want to see some of the pictures of the homestead of what it looked like it wasn't a homestead when we bought it as a link in the description down below to our instagram page go on over to our instagram page and check out lumna acres we just posted some pretty neat photos over there I'll see you guys right back here tomorrow.